Ubiquiti have just announced two new products. Well, actually, technically it's one, but they've labeled it as two different items. That is the EFG, which is the Enterprise Fortress Gateway, and the Enterprise Gateway, which will be available come September 30th. The EFG is now actually available, so let's dive a little bit into the specs and have a quick look. I'm gonna show you a little something towards the end of the video that's actually gonna show you what's coming in the Enterprise setup. So these are the two devices that you can see right here. So we have the Enterprise Fortress Gateway, and we have the Enterprise Gateway Enterprise. <laughs> they both include 25 gig, 10 gig, and two and a half gig, WAN and LAN ports. So let's dive a little bit deeper. So we can see the EFG is a cloud gateway and it runs the Unify stack for network management. And the other side, the enterprise gateway, it's managed with a cloud key. So this is something if you want to run standalone and you don't want it as part of the cloud gateway stack, you can go ahead and buy it as a standalone unit that just runs network. So there's less overhead on what's being run on there and everything runs just that little bit quicker than you need. This is the fastest device that runs IPS and IDS with 12.5 gig throughput speed. Now that's roughly what's been tested on here. I would like to see what that looks like when we actually put it to a real live test. It's license free and it has real time inspection packets, which we'll go into in a little bit more details in a couple of minutes. Two 25 gig ports, two 10 gig ports and two two and a half gig ports, which can be remapped to LAN and WAN. It'll be interesting if you can have more than two WAN connections now. Uh, I think roughly from what I've read, it's still only two WAN connections. The rest are then LAN. The other additional thing that's actually come in, which is quite good, is it now includes hot swappable PSUs. So these can be purchased additionally, and you can then swap out the PSUs should one fail and you need to swap it out. So on the left, you'll see a hot swappable PSU, which is $119, and that is hot swappable if one of them ever fails. We scroll a little bit further down into the tech specs, and you can see they, ex they are exactly the same size and specification, both 18 core ARM processors at two gigahertz, 16 gig of RAM. They both have Ethernet and Bluetooth in terms of management. And I was right on my assumption that you can only set two of the ports up to be WAN. The other four are then set up as LAN. We have the hot swappable gateway and the max consumption power is 82 watts. It has all the configurations that you would want on there. So it has the performance settings, it has the next gen settings, and it has the advanced networking settings. Again, this is all licensing free, and they are now stepping into the enterprise space or attempting to se step into the enterprise space. We're stepping down into the capacity on the enterprise gateway. You can see there's a million concurrent connections, 71,000 new sessions, 10,000 SSL TLS inspection counts. So those are very high numbers that you would generally see in an enterprise environment. Obviously, there are some cases where there would be more and some cases where there would be less. The other thing to note on the EFG, it does say it has 500 plus devices and 5,000 plus clients. And if you're interested in a little bit further at some of the speeds of this, it has all the throughputs down here, what it would be when you're just using the firewall, IDS, IPS, the throughput of the VPN, the site to site tunneling, it actually says what the site magic limitation is. So 1.1 gigabit per second throughput speed of that. The open VPN is 120 meg and the IPsec is 580 meg. It also has the single client tunnel for WideGuard and open VPN and some of the LED and the Unify software that it runs. I am gonna try and get my hands on one of these so I can review one for you. So let me know down in the comments what you wanna see when I get my hands on one of these. Now, this is the video that Unify have released. So this is where you can actually see some interesting devices straight off the go within the first five seconds. You can see these little devices down here. Uh, there's a lot of rumors coming around about a NAS. Does it look like that? Does it not? We don't know yet, but I'm gonna scroll in a little bit further. Quality. And these are the hot swap power supplies enterprise. that I mentioned. So you can see them right Seven, there. We have a and again, class. license free, so you Once don't need you to pay anything. Everything you get is inside the box. Forever. Now, here is a closer look of some of the stuff that I saw. So we can see the enterprise switches. We have the enterprise S FG and we have the enterprise 100 gig. So does that mean we have an enterprise 100 gig switch that's going to be coming out Product. and the one that i wanted to show you is this device at the bottom so it shows cameras and storage availability so is there something a lot bigger that's coming out that's going to host unify protect uh, we can see there's definitely 42 cameras on there and we have at least 25 terabytes of storage in there so this could be a storage device that's going to be for cameras or could even be utilized for computers to use as a NAS storage. Those are the ports that we've seen, 2.5 gig, 10 gig, and 25 gig. So we have two, two, and two. And there's the 12 plus gigabytes throughput 
for IPS IDS when it's enabled. The last thing I'm going to show you, which I'm most interested to get my hands on to actually test out the next AI packet inspection. So there's a lot more in here, what you can inspect, what you can see, and all that is is installing a simple certificate on your clients. There are a couple of videos already out on this if you want to take a look. I think Cody from Mac Telecom and Clay from DPC Technology have already done this. So you can go ahead and check that out. You can see by just querying the logs, you can go away and see them and it will tell you what to look for and you can see how this SSL inspection works by just pulling out all the information that you've searched. I know I did say that was the last thing but this is the one interesting thing as well where you see some of the prices that come in. So 25 gig. 12.5 gigabits routing and only $2,000 in hardware. It doesn't include any licensing fees and the SSL inspection is already included with it. Again, license free. Let me know your thoughts down in the comments below what you think of this. Obviously, it's not something you're going to be deploying in everyday home. Do you think Ubiquiti are making, making the right strides to step into the enterprise space? Or do you think there's something that's still missing or you still think it's not quite there yet? I hope you found this video useful. This is Inside Wire and I'll see you in the next one.